when a sumo coach names you after him, then changes the stable's name to his own, he's letting you know how much he expects. And to all round relief, including his own, Ikazuchido of Ikazuchi Stable is finally breaking out. He opened January with two wins against men he'd lost to before, and was still without loss come match number five. His reliance on throws is still too high, but here we saw a growing belief in his driving strength. Well lowered knees acting as fulcrums, the iron shoulders crushing enemy lines. Match 6 brought even better shape. and a celebratory air punch for his straight bat ploy of outside left and pinning right, bouncing off those knees again was purely textbook stuff. He lost the title decider, alas. Big match pressure, an issue to fix. But six wins marked his best score yet and upped him over 70 rungs. How will he fare in unknown waters? Another lad fighting more from the front is 19-year-old Shoran. Amazingly, pre-January, except for a Covid-related default, 100% of his pro sumo wins had come via trip or throw. Enough of that, said his worried coach. Unless you want to strain everything, you'd better go for more force outs. But, I said when he told me this, throwing seems innate to you. It must be hard to coach it out. Judge for yourselves in this match here against a man he'd felled by throw last November. Yes, once a thrower. Three of his wins came by throw again. To compel him to take a straighter route, he's been banned from taking the belt in several practice bouts. He took a slight knock in training last month, but insists it's no cause for panic. And to end with, after dropping his final four in November, Kotokendu merely shrugged things off and promised a New Year resurgence. A promise emphatically kept it was. Supple, pliable, and with huge upper arms, buttressed through stacks of elevated push-ups, he's got lots of Asashoryu and Tokitenku in him. His only defeat was to fellow high flyer Hanafusa, who debuted with him last year. Last March saw them both in Division 6. This March they've both made Division 3.